In this video, I'm going to talk about how you actually know if your fit of your model to some data is actually a good one or not. And the answer is you use the chi-squared test. So what is, what's the situation here? We're imagining, as before, that we have some set of data. and a model, a model that we're fitting to the data. Let's say we've done our best effort, we've looked at the residual plots and tried to get a model that goes behaves very nicely. How do you know if the fit is good enough? Can you put a number to it? Well, the answer is that you can using the chi-squared test. Here's what you do. You've got a whole bunch of observed values. These are the blue ones here, so let's call it 01, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, etc., etc. That's your data. And you've also got your model predictions. These are expected values. We've got E1, E2, E3, and so on. Model predictions. And finally, you know the uncertainties. You know these uncertainties all the way along here. Sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, and so on. So the chi-squared parameter is equal to the sum over all the different data points of the observed value minus your model prediction for the same one. That's the residual here. Square them all and divide them by the uncertainty in the same value. So what you're looking at is the residual divided by the error all squared. So if your model was a perfect fit, then every Every estimated value will be the same as the observed value. These will therefore be zero, and so chi-squared is very low. If you'd come up with a really bad model, the observed values and the estimated values will be very different from each other, so chi-squared would be large. So you want so you want chi-squared to be as low as possible for the best fit. But it is possible for the chi-squared value to be too low. How low does it need to be for you to consider the fit to be good? You can have too good a fit, as we talked about before. A fit that looked something like this is too good a fit. You've obviously had too many free parameters. You've gone right through the middle of every data point. You expect it to be out by of order the error bars. On the other hand, that would clearly be too bad a fit. So how do you know when you've got the fit right? Well, the answer is what's called reduced chi-squared. So reduced chi-squared is just equal to the normal chi-squared value divided by the number of degrees of freedom. What are degrees of freedom? Well, the number of degrees of freedom is equal to the number of observations minus the number of parameters in your fit. What does that mean? If you're fitting, let's say, a straight line, a straight line is something of the form uh, y equals a plus bx. So to make your fit work, you can just two things, the intercept and the slope. So that means it's got two fitting parameters. Let's say you fit a sine wave, so you might have y equals amplitude times sine, angular velocity times theta plus the phase. In this case, you've got the amplitude, the angular velocity and the phase, so three parameters. So this is what you do. 
you work out the chi-squared value using the equation up here as before. You work out, take the number of data points, subtract off the number of parameters in your fit, so two in this case, three in this case. That gives you the number of degrees of freedom. Divide chi-squared by that. And if, all, if the fit is perfect, then reduced chi-squared should be about one. That's telling you that the scatter in the points, how much they are, are scattered around your prediction, is about what you'd expect from the errors. If reduced chi-squared is greater than one, that tells you you uh, if it is could be improved. If your reduced chi-squared on the other hand is less than one, that's telling you that your data is too close to the model. That's telling you you've had too complicated a model. Or it could be that your errors are too big. So that's how you tell if a model is a good fit. You compute chi-squared up here. You try and get it as low as possible. Then you work out the reduced chi-squared by dividing by the numbers of degrees of freedom. And you want a value close to 1. If it's greater than 1, there's something you're not quite fitting in your data yet, so you might want to make your model more complicated. It's much rarer, but if you do see a chi-square of less than 1, that means you've actually overfit your data in some sense, or your errors were estimate was too big. And that's how you test if you're for a good fit to your data.